Brace yourself for a philosophical clash of the titans. In one corner, we have the relentless thinker Thomas Hobbes, and in the other corner stands the fiery intellectual John Bramhall. But who comes out on top in this epic battle of ideas? Let's delve into the philosophical duel between Hobbes and Bramhall to understand their contrasting perspectives on human nature and the role of government. Hobbes, known for his pessimistic view of humanity, believed that people were inherently driven by self-interest and were in constant pursuit of power. He famously declared that life was solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short to talk about a bleak outlook on life. On the other hand, Bramhall, a staunch defender of religious authority and traditional values, had a significantly more optimistic view of human nature. He argued that humans possessed free will and moral responsibility, capable of choosing between good and evil. Bramhall vehemently rejected the notion of a predestined universe, advocating instead for personal choice and accountability. These opposing visions crystallized in their contrasting views on the role of government. Hobbes believed that an all-powerful leviathan was necessary to maintain order and prevent the chaos that would ensue in a state of nature. For him, absolute sovereignty was the key to curbing human selfish desires and maintaining social harmony. Bramhall, however, championed a more limited government, upholding individual liberties and emphasizing the importance of religious institutions in guiding human behavior. Now, let's bring these philosophical heavyweights to life through some relatable scenarios. Imagine a bustling marketplace where people interact with one another. Hobbes, observing from the corner, would see a hostile environment driven by competition and self-interest. People would be fiercely vying for the best deals and seeking to exploit others for personal gain. Bramhall, on the other hand, would notice the same marketplace as a vibrant symbol of human interaction. He would witness the harmony of exchange and the cooperation that arises from shared values and trust. But who ultimately triumphs in this clash of ideas? Well, history tells us that both thinkers contributed immensely to the development of political philosophy. Hobbes influenced the concept of social contract theory, providing a foundation for understanding the origins of government and its relationship with its citizens. Bramhall, with his emphasis on moral accountability, laid the groundwork for modern discussions on free will and personal responsibility. So rather than pitting Hobbes against Bramhall, let's acknowledge that their intellectual duel enriched our understanding of humanity and government. We should cherish the insights provided by both these thinkers and use them as guideposts to navigate the complexities of our modern world. After all, in the realm of philosophy, it is the vibrant exchange of ideas that leads to true intellectual progress.